Hi everyone, my name is Nikita and I'm a custom access manager here at the board. Welcome to the custom dashboard guide. Today we will talk about how to set it up and its features. So what is a custom dashboard? It's an executive reporting tool that shows only the objectives and key results that you currently need, together all with vital stats. The dashboard can suit all levels of reporting, from the executive down to the team's level. Right now on the screen you can see a company level dashboard for this year, with its goal help companies grow better and three objectives that support this goal. But let's also try to create a team or department level report, for example marketing team. For this let's go back to the alignment view, select groups filter, search for our marketing team, ok, here it is. And here we can see three objectives currently assigned to marketing team for this queue. Let's open another tab and create our report there. Okay. As a goal, we can enter marketing focus for Q3. Right? Create report. And let's start adding objectives. Let's go back to this one, search for our objectives, add more, okay, nice, and the last one, great, cool. Now our report is now ready and will appear on the list, here it is. On the screen you can see again the goal of this report, three objectives that we just added, each objective will have its title, current grade, the last seven days progress, and below it you will see the nested items of this objective. If you want a more detailed view on the report, you can open a graph and here again see the whole goal progress or split by its contributors. The average progress bar will show you the average of all objectives added to this report. So we created the report, we understand how it works and now it's time to share it with your team. To do so we can click on the share button and here we will see two options, private or public. Private will allow you to make it completely power, private only available to yourself or share it with specific people, for example your team only. As an alternative you can make it completely public, so everybody will see it. Ok, now you shared this your report and maybe a lot of your people in the company are doing the same and you have a lot of things already on the list here. So to help you navigate you can add your reports to favorites. In this case they will also appear on the side menu under the dashboard tab. Here it is, our new, newly created report. Let's go back to our report. So, what else? Uh, the limit of objectives is 10. It's not possible to add more than that. It's also, for example, if you indeed add 10 objectives, the horizontal layout may not suit you perfectly. In this case, you can switch it to be vertical, like that. Also, in case you want to showcase your report on the big screen in your office, we have a presentation mode that will allow you to actually present it. What this mode will do, it will switch between your objectives every five minutes and show its nested items. The last feature that I didn't mention yet is export. For example, you want to share this report with someone outside the company or you want just to print it, for example. In this case, yeah, use the PDF export. And that's probably it. Yeah, thanks everyone. See you next time. Bye.